What's up guys, welcome back to a, another tutorial and today we're going to be taking a look at how to create like a, a view counter or a countdown or something of the nature, kind of like this. Cool, so we have this little sort of like graphic that pops up and then has this like number generator and we're going to show you how to create that. So first I'll show you how to create this exact one here and then we'll move on to something a little bit different with the same sort of effect. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is create a fusion composition. Uh, you can either do that here or go straight to fusion, do it that way. I'm just gonna create one by, just by dragging down there. With your playhead over the composition, we're gonna jump into fusion and it's gonna load our media out node for us. So all we really need to do for this one is drag a text node down and connect it. And we can rename this one just so that we're nice and organized and we're gonna F function F2, and we're just gonna call this the counter. And all we really wanna do is head on over to our inspector, and we have our style text, and this is where we can input whatever we want the text node to display. What we're gonna actually do is right click in it and go expression. So we're gonna change it to an expression. And basically we get given this thing, which is like text and that. We don't need that at all. We can just write time. And all of a sudden, now the text node equals time. Now it's not time as in like it's 4.26 p.m. It's time as in frames. So you'll notice that if we go to frame 30, it'll equal frame 30 and etc. like that. And it just climbs up and up and up. But hopefully you can sort of see where we're going with this is expressions basically just like an equation. So what I normally do is just like I go time times. So the current frame times and then just do like a, you can either do a small number or a larger number, but just like a random number. So we could go time 37. And then what we end up having is it starts at zero and then it just climbs in a, what looks like a pretty normal fashion. And you can obviously make it way bigger if you, you know, your channel gets heaps of views. You can just go boom, 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 boom. And then it's just gonna tick over like so. So that's kind of cool. And then if you wanted to put that say on a background, we could just create like a little background node here. Let's just quickly display that. And we'll make it, oh, we could make it a dark gray. Give it a shape so we can drag a rectangle node down and connect that into our background. We can give it a little bit of round edges like so. Change the width and height so that it kind of looks like something cool. And then we can just merge, the, merge it all together. So we just drag that, connect it to there. Now currently it's in the foreground because it's connected to the green arrow, which is foreground. You can just right click, go swap inputs or command T, control T. And because we've got the background displayed, we can't see the counter. We're just gonna drag the media out node in. So now we can see the timer, which looks pretty cool. And if we want, we can resize this here so we can just bring it down a little bit so it makes, you know, covers a little bit more, however you wanna do it. We can change the color as well, make it a little bit lighter, make it red, however you wanna have it. And then if you wanna animate this all into a group, you literally just have to add a transform node after everything has been set up. So we go to the merge node, we can go shift space, add a transform node, boom. And now we can, you know, we can control that and animate it. So we could like, what we could do is zoom out, we could drag it down, set a keyframe on the transform node center, move forward a little bit, drag it up. And there you go. Starts there, jumps up. You could always add some motion blur. So with the transform node selected, go to the settings, bit of motion blur. And now we have this thing. Cool, comes up. There is your view counter. Pretty cool, right? You know, that's how we created that effect that we showed you in the timeline. But what if you wanna create like a countdown or something like that, similar to how we created this one? Well, what we're gonna do is gonna delete everything, start from scratch, drag text node down, connect it over. And this time what we're gonna do is you're going to right click over here in the style text and you're just gonna go text timer. There you go, now we have a timer, but if we scrub through, nothing happens. It just sits there currently at one minute. So what we're gonna do is head on over to the modifier because we created a modifier by right clicking, that is modifying it. And then here you can see the text timer modifier and we've got a few different sliders here, a few display options. So if we don't wanna see the minutes, we don't have to show the minutes. We don't wanna show the hours, just the minutes and seconds, we can. We can increase the amount of minutes, all this sort of thing and then we can change the mode. So we can have it count down, we can have it count up, or we can just have it represent the current time. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna do a countdown timer and we're gonna start it at one minute. So we're gonna have a, uh, yep, we're gonna start it at one minute. So we're gonna have a one minute countdown timer. 
as you can see, nothing's happening. That's because you need to start it. So let's just go to the frame zero and hit start. And then that just does a simulation. So now if I hit play, you can see we have a timer that counts down at the frame rate of the video. So 24 frames a second, it will do one every 24 frames. And it's just gonna go down like so. And if you ever wanna change any of this, like if you wanna do start from six minutes, you always have to go back and then just re, so you're gonna stop it and then you're gonna start it again. And then it will reset that timer. Same if you wanna do it to a timer and you wanna do it to count up to two, same thing. I'm gonna go to the start, I'm gonna start it from scratch and now you have a timer counting up from two minutes. Pretty cool effect. And uh, yeah, really useful if you wanna create some sort of timer or countdown. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you want this to be a full length composition, say you wanna do like a Peter McKinnon two minute Tuesday countdown where it counts down from two minutes over in the corner. Well, you wanna make sure that that original fusion composition is two minutes long because I've found that it's quite hard to resize after the fact. So keep that in mind. But there you go, guys. That is how you create a view counter or a timer inside of DaVinci Resolve.